Hello my friends. Well, I'm in Scotland. Well, I'm on the Isle of Skye, which is Scotland. And we're gonna head off to the Lake District today to Bowness on Windermere in my all electric car, a Porsche Taycan. And we're gonna go and see whether it can make it there uh, without running out of battery, basically. Well, we made it up, up here from Leeds in the last uh, episode. So I'm guessing we can. And there's some beautiful scenery along the way. We're gonna do a few stop offs, a few charges. You can work out how much it's gonna cost along the way. Uh, it's gonna cost more than a diesel, isn't it really? Because we all know that uh, charging on public charge points costs a lot of money, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, it's a beautiful day and uh, we're gonna head on the way. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, click that little bell for notifications and when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, Let's get in the electric milk float and let's go. Right, my friends, so we're off to Bowness on Windermere in the Lake District. It's 354 miles, six hours and 28 minutes. Um, it says we're going to get there at 1.53 in the afternoon. We won't because we're going to have to charge on the way because I've only got 241 miles of range and that is at 100% charge that we've just done here at Charge Place Scotland. Uh, if you missed the last episode where I drove from Leeds to the Isle of Skye where we are now, make sure you go and watch that one as well. It's a fantastic uh, episode. Uh, so we're going to head off now over Sky Bridge uh, and get on along, along the way, get on along the way. And um, I need coffee. I need coffee as well. I need to wake up. It's, it's uh, only 7.26 in the morning. So uh, let's set off and uh, let's get there. Come on. Blimey, bit bright. Um, there was a warning sign uh, back there, quite, quite funny really, because it said, warning, no fuel uh, at the next filling station. Uh, so you've got to fill up back, basically back there. Uh, and I'm like, I'm all right. I've got a full charge. I'm good to go. Feeling cocky for once in my EV. <laughs> sign back there high risk of deer slow down uh, so I have done I don't want a, a deer on the front of my uh, electric milk float now I have to say charge place Scotland charge place charge point Scotland charge place Scotland has been excellent however yet again with all these different charges and different charge places that you go to uh, whether it be grid serve whether it be um, I, I, I have, there's loads of them, there's numerous different charging stations that you can go to, owned by different companies. But if you come to Scotland and you just think you're going to tap your debit card against the uh, Charge Point Scotland charger, uh, you'd be wrong because you have to register online, you then have to have an app um, and uh, you can't use it unless you've got unless you've registered and got an app so you have to have the app 
you don't have to have the card you can you can ask for a card go away birdie i don't want to run you over um so you can have a card that you can request which is a really really good idea because in a lot of these places uh, the app won't work because you won't get a mobile phone signal in the scottish highlands so it's not that simple is it it makes it more and more difficult it should be a standardized charging network where you can just tap your card um and some people will also argue the point that what if you uh, want to pay cash well you can't you either have to have an app or you pay by card so that is one of the downfalls of owning an electric car it's just complicated it's like going through the uh, VHS, Betamax, Blu-ray disc, uh, Philips laser disc um, era again, isn't it? Have I got the right one? Are you going to end up with a Betamax? Well, who knows? At the end of the day, we do know that CDs came in, but then again, they've gone out now, haven't they? And it's MP3s. So do I think electric cars are the future? No, they're not. It's just another fad. We'll go back to uh, internal combustion engines, just like we've all gone back now to vinyl. Seems to be the in thing, doesn't it? Right, so this is, I think, bring me back a different route uh, to the one that I came, um, which seems a little bit more, even more rural, I will say. Um, so I'm glad that I actually charged up when I did and topped up uh, before I left and got 100%. I'm now down to 83%, 196 miles. Uh, and to get to bonus on Windermere is, 313 miles wow uh this is absolutely stunning <sighs> scotland i mean you must must have some of the best views in the world honestly wow um so anyway let's uh keep driving and let's uh, wow unbelievable it really is stunning scenery just have a quick question for anybody that's from Scotland um, does it always rain in Scotland every time I've come to Scotland it's rained uh, or it's been cold and it is July now um, you know it, it should it should be a bit surely it should be a bit warmer it's summer anyway it's uh, lovely scenery but I can't see it at the moment because it's behind clouds. Hopefully it'll clear up later. I can't remember whether this is the way that we came or not. I think it's a different way, I'm not sure. Um, oh, anyway, I tell you, the thing with electric cars is you've always got that underlying uncertainty, that churning in your stomach about will i be stranded your range anxiety as soon as i get past about 80 percent and i and i get below 80 percent i start to my stomach starts to go and my brain starts to think and i'm thinking all right let's have a look on a map and uh, you know it's 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 worrying it takes away the fun and the pleasure of driving your car uh 
amongst the uh, no sound of the engine as well and just sounds like a Bosch washing machine doesn't it anyway come on onwards I think so far we may be on the same route that we came on actually because there is a burger van back there called Burger Queen and I know my I know my food uh, and I'm pretty sure uh, we pulled in there to get some uh, video footage um, on the way to the Isle of Skye um, so hopefully it will take us back the same way but we're down on the where are we at the moment we've come through Speen Bridge so yeah I think we're on the we're doing good we're doing good 76% of battery 183 miles of range we've got 291 miles to go um, and we're gonna get to Bowness oh it's five hours and five minutes we've got journey time and it says Bowness at 151 but obviously we that's the thing you see with an electric car we know that it's not going to be 151 we've got you know a bloody hour to charge or whatever or 50 minutes to charge up um which is what the pain is right so speen bridge we're in we're in speen bridge now and we did come to speen bridge on the way up uh because there was we stopped um where there was some fish and chips but then i went in it got my hopes up uh but there's a spa there um and i don't know whether they're open if they are open it's not even nine o'clock yet um then i could do with a coffee i need a coffee and a little snack because i didn't have any dinner last night um just ended up charging and then sleeping in the car if you've not seen the last episode go back and watch it because it'll give you the harsh reality of owning a um electric car here we are speen bridge or drakhani i could put something in in uh, scottish anyway right where are we uh supposed to turn left here but I want the spa will it be open I need coffee yes yes this is where I parked on the way up the spa's open looks like they've got Costa coffee um I might be cheeky and nip in that hotel there as well and use their loo to turn this milk float off ha <laughs> ha coffee time Right, use the hotel's toilet, be a little bit cheeky. Scottish weather. <laughs> you need a raincoat up here. Blimey. Touring Scotland on a motorbike. I think I'd rather be in the car, even if it's electric. So I've had a Costa coffee and a Scotch pie, which apparently I had to, well, it's minced beef, I had to ask for it. What is this? Speen Bridge Haggis Trails. No idea what that is. Right, we're going to try this Scotch pie and we'll mark it out of 10. Never had a Scotch pie before. Right, I'm going to try this. It's probably going to be nuclear hot. Hmm. 
Hmm. Pastry's nice. And it's, uh, yeah, meat inside, but it's like a, it's like a sausage meat, really, but, yeah, have a look. Hmm, it's nice though. Nice, it's a wee little breakfast. Wee little breakfast. We'll eat this, get back in the car and then get back on the road again. Right, got to tell you, that scotch pie was very, very nice. It was a slight spiciness to it as well. Uh, yeah, nice. It filled the spot, it filled the hole. Got the cost of coffee. Uh, we need to carry on now on our way, if I press that. Uh, 287 miles to go. Says we're going to get there at 225. We know we're not because we've got to charge up. 74% of battery, 179 miles of range, 287 miles to get there. So come on, onwards, my friends after this. You know, there's only a few reasons really why you'd have an EV, isn't there? Um, I'll go through a few now with you, or I'll go through them all with you. Um, Number one, um, you are uh, you, you, you're an ecologist, what is it, an eco-warrior? So you believe that you're saving the planet? Well, actually you're not, if you look into it, because these are not as environmentally friendly as you may think. Uh, secondly, um, you've been brainwashed into it by the media uh, and um, the powers that be, because they say, ooh, this is it. You've got to have one of these now. Um, thirdly, maybe you're a bit of a, this is mine, maybe you're a bit of a technophobe and you think, oh, you know, I love that. It's the, it's the latest thing like we do with mobile phones. You know, I've got to have the iPhone 14, which I did, even though really it was no different to the 13. They just changed the shape of the notch on it and put a little hole in it and called it a dynamic island. Um, or um, another one would be uh, that you think you're going to save money. Um, well, unless you're driving local, you are not going to save money, as you've seen in the last episode. These things are more expensive if you're charging uh, on public charging networks. If you're driving from home to the library, um, then, uh, you know, that would be, it would be cheaper. Uh, you know, if you've got a little Mini or whatever, or a little Fiat 500, electric then yeah it's great you'll you'll save money charge it at home for now anyway um or uh, what's the other one uh oh yeah well this applies to all of them uh, then the other uh, reason is you, you're a bloody idiot basically and that that, re that applies to me as well so there you go that's the only reasons that you would get an electric car so uh anyway um, the weather's really strange up here, going off piste now. It goes from sunny to really cloudy, back to sunny again. Uh, but it's so beautiful up here. It's absolutely gorgeous. But the only thing that's spoiling it for me is the worry of not being able to charge up. But uh, I'm, I think I'm going to be okay because I think it's taking me back the same way. And as I say, well done Scotland. Uh, because you do have a pretty good charging network. Anyway, come on. And now, a word from our sponsors. Did you buy an electric car between the years 2020 and 2025? Only to find out you'd been sold a lie. Well, you may be able to claim up to £32,000 cash back. Call EV Lawyers For You now. It, obviously, that isn't a real sponsor, but it's what's gonna happen uh, in a few years time on daytime TV when you sat there 
in your living room and you've got your Nissan Note or whatever in the garage where your battery's gone and the infrastructure's not there anymore because it was all, you know, just a fad really and a big scam. Uh, you know, that's good. Watch it. Rem play this back. Honestly, remember that and play it back because it will happen. You know it will. And you get a free pen as well. And wait, that's not all. Sign up today. <laughs> anyway, come on, onwards. You know, I've got to say, I really, really enjoyed driving these Scottish roads. They've been absolutely fantastic. But what's been missing is the noise of an engine. Because, I just overtake this car here, because there's just no soul, is there? There's nothing, there's no soul. It's a soulless car, it's just nothing. It's like having Kira Knightley uh, in bed with you but not making any noise if you know what I mean it's just it, it just lacks that oomph I used, I used to have um, we're back on the dual carriageway right? end of dual carriageway right? that's it we've got to get just watching my speed because there's speed cameras everywhere in Scotland as well um, I used to have a, a, a Boxster a Porsche Boxster and it had a flat six engine and the noise of it was absolutely amazing. It sounded fantastic. Now that on them roads would have been fantastic. Changing down the gears. I mean, mine used to be PDK. I used to paddle, flappy paddle gearbox. And it was fantastic. You'd change down on the bends, accelerate out. You'd got more connection with the car. This is just push and go really, isn't it? Um, there's nothing to it, no noise, and it's just break and go and stop. Um, it's a bit like a, like I say, a milk float. But that driving around these roads would have been, oh, would have been fantastic. Would have been great. It was good, it was nice, but it just wasn't exciting, if you know what I mean. And that's what these EVs lack. Um, and if it is the future, then I, f I feel a bit sorry for like my lad James who still plays with his cars and and he he's got a little track a little road on a, a layout of a road on a carpet thing and he puts his cars on it and he goes that's not gonna happen is it what are you gonna do it's yeah soulless there you go I mean I'll take care of Kieran Knightley with no noise but um, you know, should be better with noise. Anyway, onwards. I've got to say, there's a lot of motorcyclists uh, up here in Scotland, obviously doing the tour on their motorcycles, which must be fantastic, by the way, when it's nice weather, uh, when it's raining, maybe not so much. Um, but what's going to happen to them? Because if you look at the actual range on these electric cars, right, the range is not great. It's 200 odd miles on this Taycan. Um, but on a motorcycle, on an electric motorcycle, I think it's 100 miles or less. I mean, what, you're not going to be able to go anywhere, are you? That would be that would actually be impossible to do a tour of the UK unless the infrastructure was every 50 miles or something. I mean, it's going to kill motorcyclists, uh, motorcycling. Sorry, it's going to kiss, kill motorcycling. It's going to what are we doing here? It's going to kill caravanning. Um, it's just absolutely crazy. 
it's basically the what, what's going to be left what is going to be left nothing your 15 minute cities look it up that's it you'll just you'll stay in your 15 minutes and you'll be happy pit lockery i think i've been to a fish and chip shop there Right, so I am now at 42%. I've got 103 miles of range left. Uh, dual carriageway, get in this lane in a minute. Um, I reckon um, I'm going to charge at Perth, which is where I charged, I believe, on the way up here. Uh, and there's a Porsche garage, so I can charge there and then hopefully i don't know whether that will get me all the way to the lake district we'll have to find out um because we've got 205 miles to the lake district but i don't want to leave it so it gets really low because when i get to the lake district i don't want to have to start finding charges when i'm there so uh yeah anyway first things first we will charge up at perth okie doke come on onwards Right, if I remember rightly, there are some Ionity chargers down here uh, when I did my um, John O'Groats to Land's End video. And Ionity, I believe, are cheaper than Porsche. However, this is going to be the problem now, though. Uh, they're actually going to be all taken up, I believe. We'll go in here and have a look. Yep, yeah, and one's out of order. There we go. Yeah, one, two... Oh, got an MG in there. Here we go. I'll show you in a minute. Reverse this back up. This is the problem, you see. All taken up by the looks of it. Is he coming out or is he still charging? I don't know whether he's coming out actually. I think he might be coming out. And as if by magic, there we go. He's come out. That was lucky. Hey, this trip's going well so far. We're doing all right, apart from the fact that it's added hours onto my time uh, for charging. But here we go, Ionity. And this works with my Porsche charge card. But Ionity is a lot cheaper, I think. You'll have to let me know in the comments. If you looked at the last video, I'm pretty sure the Ionity is cheaper than the Porsche chargers. So let's get back as far as we can. Here we go, come on, keep going, keep going. Here we go. Okay. I mean, even the MGs used to be great, didn't they? We've got an MG electric one there. And MGs used to have the little, you know, well, the little MG soft top, and it was great. Now look at it, it looks like something that a child has drawn, doesn't it? Switch this milk float off, 99 miles, 39%. 11.17, make a note, 11.17. Let's get this charged up. Right, tap to start. Let's open that first. Payment authorised. It's even come up on my watch. Connect the plug to the car. Plug connected. This is where your heart goes a bit, your stomach turns. Is it going to work or not? Preparing to charge. Fingers crossed.
Still preparing to charge. Is it gonna work? Still says preparing to charge. I don't know whether this is working. Oh no, here we go, charging, 39%. Right, looks like it's Starbucks time, come on. Right, okay, so it's almost midday now, 12 o'clock. Um, it's 99% charged, so I think I'm just gonna stop it now um, and then get back on the road again. Gotta say, by the way, Starbucks cookies are terrible, awful. Let me stop this charging anyway. Not stopping. Oh, there we go, return plug to charger. There we go. Right, let's get back in the car and see what this cost me. Don't forget to add in though the cookie and the coffee, etc. It, it all mounts up. Come on. Right, okay, so uh, it's actually come to 16 pounds and 70 pence. These Ionity chargers, uh, they are way cheaper, aren't they, than the Porsche charging network? I mean, it's it's way cheaper. Wherever, but there's just not enough of the Ionity chargers, that's the thing. Anyway, we're gonna hit the road again, get down to Bonus on Windermere. It's now saying 197 miles. Um, arrival at 20 past three, so three hours and 16 minutes. And we've got 248 miles of range now and 99% uh, charge. So uh, come on, onwards my friends. Right, so I'm gonna to have to pull in in a moment because my dash uh, normally has a map on it for me and I like to see that uh, and the map's gone. Um, there's loads and loads of little niggles with this, with this car and I can hear the Tesla owners now saying you should have got a Tesla. Yes, we know your software is better, uh, but this has been an absolute nightmare with the software on it, Porsche. Um, if Porsche are wash, watching, which I highly doubt it. For goodness sake, sort your software out. Um, I've got to now reset the car. It's like reboot reboot the car, basically. What happened, what happened to just a car? Turn it on with a key and go. Right, uh, I've turned the car off. I've had to leave it a couple of minutes. I don't really like sitting in this lay-by. It's very narrow. Cars wobbling with all these cars going by. If it doesn't work after the second time I switch it on, I switched it off once. If it doesn't work the second time, I'm just gonna leave it and just go. I've got ways on this one anyway. Um, I just like that one to see where I'm going in relation to the rest of the country. But uh, anyway, give it two more minutes and then I'll be on my way. Yes, we're in. The map is back on. Right, we can carry on now. I can hear, here we go. Oh, what's that? Bonnet open. Why is the bonnet open? Right, I've got to park up a minute. Stay there.
Right, I do not like getting out on the dual carriageway like that. Right. The only good thing about this car is, is it's quick acceleration. Because on here like this, we can literally go. There we go. Whoa. Oh, my kidneys. Right, there we go. Onwards. Wow, that is quick. I've thought of a bonus. I've thought of a good thing about electric cars. Here we go. There will no longer be any boy racers with souped up Nissan Micras with spoilers on the back or uh, a 1987 Golf with a huge spoiler on the back and a kit on the front, revving it up with exhausts that are just huge, that literally look like the Channel Tunnel. We'll have none of that anymore because they think they're cool, don't they? They're, you know, they've got the hoodies on like this, you know, even though it's baking hot, they've got their hoodies on and they're out there revving their engines up, trying to impress the chicks with their, you know, Golf GTIs with all the kit on, like I say, but now no longer. You can't do it. What are they going to do? They can't have any massive exhausts on it anymore. They've got an probably they've probably got an ionic or something and they go i mean that's not going to impress the women is it hey i mean i mean come on you've got your hoodie on and you're trying to be cool and you get out an ionic or uh, what's the other the hyundai one that looks like a box they all look like boxes don't they and I, you know that gone no longer no longer retail parks we've claimed them back However, let me just stop you there. Boy racers, don't worry. You can't have your big exhausts anymore. But if you do happen to have an Ionic or any other brand, other brands are available, other square boxy brands are available, and you do happen to get lucky with somebody from, uh, that looks like somebody from Olive, uh, from On The Buses, um, and you get her into your car and you take her for a drive and you pull over and you're impressing her then um, there is a bonus for you as well because with these electric cars there's no gear lever to get in the way you know what I've just thought as well the car basically was well it was an extension of your man sausage wasn't it even you know the ladies used to say that oh hey is that an extension of your man sausage you know and you'd be like you'd pull up in your car even on the movies you've got marty mcfly in back to the future with his big truck and you've got biff in his open top car or whatever that was ended up being filled with fertilizer uh, and you've got you know grease where grease you know grease lightning and they pull up in the car and, and it's, in fact, it's in the song, isn't it? Boy, does he have a car. Uh, and does he go very far? Uh, we, we all knew what that meant. But, you know, you can't really have an extension of your man sausage driving an electric car, can you really? Because it kind of defeats the object. Guess we're going to have to find something else now. Also, with the age of the electric car, the EV, electric vehicle, whatever you want to call it, uh, the kind of, everything's going computerized, and I know there's internal combustion engine cars as well with computer systems on board, but not as sophisticated as the EVs. And they're basically offering you optional extras that you pay for as a subscription. Now, I've said before in a a few episodes back that I did where I bought this car and it had got comfort opening on it so when I walked close to the car 
the, the door handle's open. And then on a software update, they took it off me because they said, oh, you shouldn't have had it. It was, it was a mistake, so they took it away. Now, they're also offering you these extras as well. When you buy the car, you can go online, you can add them on. BMW, for instance, don't add their heated seats on, supposedly, allegedly. I'll have to check on this one, so I was told. Um, and you can go online and add on the heated seats for a subscription for so much per year. Um, I hope they haven't got indicators on there because, for BMW because uh, they probably won't sell many of those because BMW drivers don't use indicators, do they? But anyway, that's controversial. That's another thing. But they're basically going to start adding everything as a subscription. Heated seats, su subscription-based. Air conditioning, subscription-based. Everything's going to be subscription-based just to get more money and squeeze more money from you because these motor manufacturers my mum my mum used to, to hate motor manufacturers she hated them she was like they're just after your money never trust a motor dealer she was always like that she says you'll never make money on a car you know and that's what they're doing they're squeezing more and more money from you they go on they, they all go on sales courses to upsell you on everything we know what these motor dealers do. We know what these motor sales salesmen do. They try and upsell you. Now, it'll be like, oh, go online and just upgrade everything that you want. Sat nav, pop it in, another 20 quid. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's getting out of hand. And we need to say no with that as well, because all this subscription-based stuff, it's not just cars, as I said before. It's software as well, all your app-based stuff your films, your movies, subscription. It's a way of these large conglomerates, these large companies taking more of our hard-earned cash off of us. So stop with the subscription. Let's say no to subscription. So if you get a car, just say no, I don't want any of it. In fact, don't get an electric car. Go for a proper, normal, internal combustion engine car. And if there is anything subscription based on it, tell them to do one. Work this out for me, okay? The, the video that I did last, driving up to the Isle of Skye, and then also driving back down from the Isle of Skye to the Lake District, right? Work out how many times that I charged up, how long that it took me to charge up, and the time wasted that it took me to charge, right? So I reckon it must have been somewhere in the region of about two or three hours, okay? two or three hours of your life wasted. Work that out over a year. Work it out with the lifespan of the car. Okay, so what the government are saying and what the motor manufacturers are saying is, your life is worthless. It means nothing. That's what they're saying, isn't it? Because they just say, oh, your life's worthless, you can just spend it charging. So that's what they're saying in a nutshell. Your life is worthless. Go and buy an electric car and spend hours of your life charging. And you can multiply that if you've got a family, because if you've got a family, it also becomes a nightmare because then you've got two kids in the back screaming. You've got to go and buy them a milkshake or a choco latte, whatever it is and some Percy Pigs if you're at Costa Coffee. You've got to get them to keep them quiet. And then you're wasting, if it's an hour to charge or 50 minutes to charge, times that by four. You're wasting everybody else's life as well. So your life and your family's life is worthless, according to the government and the motor manufacturers. In my opinion, I was going to say facts, but it's in my opinion. Got to say that, haven't I? puts these messages on the road signs above the motorways, right? Check tyre pressure. And then another one. Use correct child seat. And then, you know, keep a safe distance. 
it's the same kind of person as a councillor, isn't it? You know, what should we have today? Don't drive tired. Oh, Janice hasn't put me an apple in my pack lunch today. Well, who thinks of them? It's just common sense, isn't it? Common sense. <clears throat> common sense. Hmm. Anyway, less said about that, the better. Come on. It's the same as them adverts, isn't it, from the 1970s? Think once, think twice, think bike. Think once, think twice, think bike. And then another one, what was it? Only a fool breaks the two second rule. Remember, only a fool breaks the two second rule. And then the other one, what was it? Worn tires spell danger. Worn tires spell danger. No, worn tires uh, spells worn tires, doesn't it? Really, if you think about it, it's it's crackers. We're actually listening to all these absolute fools, as my mum used to say, uh, in power, and they haven't got. Hang on, M74. Uh, where do I want to go here? M74. That's it, Carlisle. Just need to get in this lane. One second. Thank you very much. We're listening to these absolute fools who are the same kind of people that invented, now wait for it, wait for it, the smart most motorway, right? The smart motorway. You've got a, a, a group of absolute balloons sat there, pretty much like councillors, because we all know that councillors are just, just daft, aren't they? Just, just fools, aren't they? Um, in brown suits, beige suits. I thought, I know, what should we do? Brilliant idea. Let's remove the hard shoulder. Oh yeah, we don't need that. They only use it occasionally, don't you, when you break down? Yeah, what if they break down though? Oh, we'll just put a sign on the road that just says, don't use this lane. You know, what if people don't see that sign in time or they're not taking any notice? Well, no, they'll see it. Yeah, they'll see it. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Janice has put me an apple in today. Honestly, and we're listening to these people saying get an electric car. Think about it, right? It's the same kind of, it's the same people who gave us the smart motorway. Now they've given us the electric car. I mean, come on, let's, let's all wake up and just say no to the electric car now, okay? If we all if we all stand together, right, and say no to the electric car, then it won't happen. Uh, and now, by the way, I believe, tell me in the comment section down below, that they've actually uh, done a U-turn and said, yeah, actually, smart motorways aren't that smart. Uh, we won't do any more. That's what I'd heard. Let me know in the comment section if that's true. But they're just going to leave the ones there that are still there. Right? Oh, yeah, it's a bad idea, actually. Shining his apple. It was a bad idea, actually. Yeah, we won't do any more. Mm. What about the ones that are already there? Eh. Nah. Eh. Nah. <laughs> Eats his apple. Do you know, th these are the people that we're listening to, right? And, the th and unfortunately, and it's no laughing matter, with smart motorways, it cost people's lives, right? To actually prove that they were a daft idea. What's it gonna cost to prove that electric cars and EVs are a daft idea? It's, it's madness.
Right, bit of an update for you. We have got 85 miles left to Bowness on Windermere, uh, which is going to take one hour and 26 minutes if we didn't have to charge up. Uh, we've got 55% of charge, 132 miles of range, but I want to put some charge in it uh, because when I get to uh, the Lake District, I don't want to be just, I want to have enough charge to go elsewhere after. Um, so we're going to go and charge up, hopefully, maybe, I think at Gretna because uh, I can use my Porsche charge card on that one like I've done before uh, so it's cheaper charging um, so we're going to do that by the way road signs that I was on about there was a road sign back there are your eyes fit for driving if they're not you won't be able to read the sign will you so what's the point in that again it's, it's some buffoon that thinks of these things Anyway, there we go. Um, interestingly enough, by the way, I was just talking to my brother-in-law who's got a Fiat or Bath. Um, we were talking about uh, whether the future is all electric. And he went, well, you know, unfortunately, I think it is, uh, but I'll be dead by then. Uh, and uh, I said, oh, you're charming, cheer me up. Um, he said, well, I've looked at upgrading my R Bath. He said, but you know, uh, we can't all afford to go electric. He said it, it'd cost me another 10 or 15 grand to upgrade, uh, or I think 20 grand it might have said actually, that 10, 10 or 20 grand, I can't remember what he said, to upgrade to the electric car bath. And he said, you know, it's just too expensive, I can't afford to upgrade. And I said to him, exactly, that's what I've been saying. The idea is not for people to upgrade to electric cars, it's to get the the, the, the minions off of the road just to not drive at all get you on a bus get you on a bike you know get you on an electric bike in a bike lane uh, you know an, an, an electric bike that's underpowered as well so they make you pedal because up, they bring out a, a ruling with electric bikes as well with a certain wattage and that's how daft they are because it should be on speed not wattage because the wattage that they approve wouldn't get you up at a tiny little incline and you can have a rally racer or well, probably not a rally racer anymore but a racer whizzed by you it, these people who are in power just they've got they haven't got a Barney McGrew they haven't got an idea honestly all they know is what they've read in books and what's in their packed lunch that's packed by the wives Anyway, and, and years ago, they would have been smoking pipes as well. Come <laughs> on, onwards. Right, Gretna services, we're going to use the Ionity chargers like we did on the way up and uh, and then we can see how much that costs. I'm only going to charge it probably to 80%, which is what you're supposed to do. Now then, where is it? We've come in a different way this time. Where are we? Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Are they in use? Is there one spare? I don't know whether there's one spare. There's only four Ionity chargers. Open. No, they're all in use. Damn. Right, that's not worked out then, has it? Um, where are we? Hang on a minute. Let me get out of here. Yeah, they're all in use. Brilliant. And there's one waiting as well. Mm. Right. I'm not waiting because there's one waiting. This is the problem, you see. It's a busy day, four chargers, four people on it. It's going to be a, at least a 40 minute wait, probably, because there's another one to get on, maybe an hour. So I'm just going to go and use the loo, get back in the car and get on the road. I've got 112 miles of range. So there you go. At least it's proved me right again. Electric cars, absolutely stupid idea. I'll be back in a minute. 
Now you see, it's raining, it's absolutely peeing it down here, but I'm stood under a, a canopy here where you can fill up nice in the dry look, put your petrol in, put your diesel in in the dry. But look at all them balloons over there trying to charge their electric cars up, getting wet through. You see, there's never any canopies over the electric charge points because why would you really? Electric and water go well together, don't they? Right, so let's get back on the road. What is this guy in the, with the caravan doing? Come on, go. <sighs> Blimey. Caravanners, eh? Well, they'll be a thing of the past once we've got all electric cars, won't they? You won't be having any more caravanners then. Come on, go. Go. What are you doing? Making tea in the back. There's a Tesla, three cars in front right, and I've been looking at it for the last five, ten minutes, and they're crap, aren't they? They look absolute garbage, don't they? I mean, we've got AI at the moment, the big thing's AI, artificial intelligence, right? And we know that anything that's artificial is crap basically isn't it it's like artificial sweeteners well they're bad for you now and they don't taste anywhere near as good as sugar do they anything that is artificial is not as good as the real thing ai if you asked ai to design you a car that is what it would come up with and you go oh right well it's done it you know it works but it's just crap and people are raving about AI it's you know people go for the Tesla owners that said oh you should have got a Tesla no I mean absolutely not they look it looks honestly I mean it's quite comical really what it looks like it's just you, the only thing you've got is your you, your charging network and that's in a different area to everybody else which is which is quite good really it's quite <laughs> because if you've got a tesla you don't want people to see that you've got a tesla so hide the charges out the way to save any shame here's a little game for you play this game with me right so tesla right what kind of music you've got a couple in there in that tesla in front what kind of music would they be playing in that tesla what kind of per people are they tesla owners i'm going to give you a i'll give you a start all right i'm going to say the best of klaus wunderlich or maybe uh, the best of manhattan transfer Something like that. What kind of music would the, would a Tesla owner be listening to? Pop it in the comment section down below. It's a little daft, little daft game that we can play just to keep me entertained while, uh, while I'm driving along the M6. Let, let me know. A few, few, uh, few comments down below. Voted the most anticipated new model of 2023 by What Car Readers. The Kia EV9 is set to change the way we move. Take the lead, drive electric. Search Kia EV9 electric experience today. Kia, movement that inspires. There you go, an advert on the radio for a Kia electric car. We're having it shoved down our throats literally everywhere you go you'll see it on billboards in magazines on television on radio 
everywhere on the internet as you watch your YouTube advertisements. Uh, everywhere it will be targeted at you to an electric car. So even subliminally, it will be targeted at you to get an electric car. You're being programmed to buy an electric car. Don't fall for it. Do not fall for it. Because to be quite honest, we're being pushed into it. I'll keep saying it and people can keep saying, why don't you get rid? I don't get rid of this because at the moment, as I've said, I'm so much in negative equity with this now because I lease it. I've got to give the money. I've got to give the money back because the price of electric cars now has dropped. It fell through the floor. So do not fall for it like I did. I've got it. I've got it. I was racking my brains. I don't want to be listening to James Last. That's it, the best of James Last. There's another one for you. Come on, keep them up. Comments down below. What will they be listening to? Right, I'm absolutely baking in here now because I've had to turn the air conditioning off because um, I'm down to 21%, 48 miles of range. Uh, if I switch the air conditioning back on again, it takes me to 45, probably less if I start driving. Um, and I need to find somewhere to charge now. So I may just have to take a little detour to Kendall now to put some charge in. It was trying to reroute me back to the M6, but one of the junctions was closed. So I couldn't do that. Uh, that's why it's rooted me around here, which is a bit more rural. And it wanted to take me all the way back uh, to T-Bay services to, to uh, charge up there. But there is one I've looked in Kendall. So I'm hoping I can get charged there and then get on my way uh, to Bowness on Windermere. So fingers crossed, because um, I don't want to get stuck out here. It's just fields and mountains again. Very beautiful, very nice. Uh, but not if you're stranded with no electricity in your car. Right, I'm just stopping. I'm going to have a look um, on Zap Map because the Porsche mapping system is trying to take me back. So I've no idea what's going on here. So let's have a look and see whether there's any on Zap Map. This is the problem, you see. It's just. <sighs> There's so many different apps and different technology. Let's have a look where we are. Come on. In 2.1 miles, keep left onto A65 Wildman Street. Right, so there we go. Instavolt at, in booths, shopping, uh, uh, whatever, uh, supermarket, that's it. Booth supermarket, Instavolt in Kendall. Now, the Porsche uh, system does not tell you that that one is there. It isn't on its map at all, because uh, it, it's not one of choice. So that tried to reroute me. So I've used ZapMap. Hopefully, I know a lot of the evangelists swear by ZapMap. I've had different um, experiences with ZapMap because uh, I've, I've been to these ones that it said that are in use. Uh, that are available, sorry, and they've either, uh, well, they've not really been in use, but they've been out of service. So it'll say, yeah, it's available, it's working, you get there, and it's not. Normally with Instavolt, though, uh, it is working. Instavolt, however, is expensive. It's extremely expensive. But you get to the point where you think, look, I just need to charge. Uh, and this is where they make the money, because they can go, we'll charge what we want especially in a place like the Lake District. Here we go, Kendall. Might need a bit of mint cake while I'm here.
Right now, you see, as beautiful as Kendall is, um, I've now driven around Kendall trying to find booths, which is on here, it's taking me to it. Um, and I've passed uh, a couple of filling stations. I've passed lots of filling stations. And this is the issue now. I'm just wasting even more time uh, looking for uh, booths now and somewhere to charge up. Ah, I know where I am now. Um, I know Kendall quite well. There we go, we're on the main street. Right, so it's up here. So we'll get to Booth, charge up. Onto All Hallows Lane. Yeah, we'll get. Then turn right onto Lane. Yes, Hallows I know. Yeah, then we'll get. Then we'll get to Bowness on Windermere. Right, come on, turn left here at Booth. You've arrived at your destination. Right now, I found Booths, but I can't find the chargers. So where are they? Where's Instavolt? It's sad, they're here. But there is no Instavolt here, as far as I can see. This is Booths, right? No Instavolt here. Access to lower car park. Cannot see any charges here at all. This is not going right. It's not going very well, this is it. It's not going very well, and now, this is too narrow for me to get this huge car through without scraping my wheels. So I don't know where this, where on earth these Instavolt are supposed to be. Right, I'm going to have to go and ask somebody because it says on Zapmap that they're here, but I can't see them anywhere. Right, well, apparently they're downstairs in the lower car park, but he said it's very, very tight uh, to get your cars down. He says you might scrape, scrape, scrape your wheels. Uh, he was from Birmingham, actually. <laughs> just got his accent. He said it's really, really tight. So uh, he said if I was you, if I was you, I wouldn't bother, mate. I'd go somewhere else. And plus, the car park closes as well in about half an hour. So uh, I'm going to get shut in. Right, so I'm going to wind the window down a little bit. Um, and we're going to go to Booths in Windermere now. Uh, hopefully we'll get there. Should do. Uh, and hopefully that one's outside. And hopefully the car park's open because it's a Sunday. Um, and as for this one, like I say, it... Oh, okay, yeah. Let me just get out of here. Um, so here we go. This is fun, isn't it? So you find your charger, then you find, you can't really get in because it's downstairs underground and it's narrow. Um, put the car up because this, this road's really tight. Here we go, let this guy come. Good grief. I don't think they've thought this car park out very well. Um, right, so we're going to get to Bowness now and try and charge up there. If we don't have any luck with that, then we're pretty much going to be stuffed really. So there you go. Um, <laughs> time to call the AA to take me to a charger. It's fun, isn't it? It's brilliant. This is the future. There we go. Oops. Narrow again. Thank you. Right, come on. Onwards. It is uh, a little warm, I've got to tell you. Um, right, I mean, let me just put this window up. I know it is warm. Um, this is crazy. I can't believe that they put the Instavolt charging points downstairs, underground, where the car park closes. What is the, what's the point in that? And then have it so that it's in a car park where it's so narrow, you can't get big electric cars down like this, or, or you can if you don't value your wheels. Uh, and there's, there's just no way. I, and them car, I mean, them car parks, they go like that, the curbs are like that. Admittedly, they're not built for these kind of cars, but don't put them down there, put them somewhere else. So I'm hoping this next booths that they are outside because there's one in Ulverston, there's a booth in Ulverston that I've charged up at before, they're outside. So if the actual shop's closed, you can still charge up. But it just goes to show, doesn't it? The powers that be uh, think that our life and our lives are worthless. 
because the amount of time I've spent now in the last couple of days charging or trying to find a charge point, I just wouldn't get on with my life. Do you know what? I wish I'd got 11 grand just to hand this car back. Here, take it back and I'll have a petrol one. Absolutely ridiculous. It's crackers, isn't it? It's, it's actually quite comical, really. Um, you know, and uh, hopefully if you're if you were thinking of getting an electric car, this will put you off. The more people that I can put off, the better. But as I do say, it's just my opinion. It may work for you, if you don't value your life. Right, well, please check range has just come on my dashboard. We're just coming into Windermere, um, which is the top part. Bowness is further down, by the way. That's Bowness and Windermere, where the lake is. And everybody thinks it's it's called Windermere, but it's not. This is Windermere. Now, where are we? Uh, I, I know I've been to this booth before many a time with my mum and dad, so it should be up here. And I'm pretty sure the um it's up here one second gotta go all the way around and then to the right please do not be closed oh they've got gates on it here we go hopefully they're open oh no this is the deliveries <laughs> that's why right we got that wrong then haven't we let's back up come on let's get a, a need to just charge up and then go and get something to eat this has been fun though hasn't it it's fun, it shows you what it's like to own an electric car, which is naff really, isn't it? Here we go, turn it around, come on. Please be open, please be open, please be open. Here we go. Oh, there's another car coming, it's narrow, one second. Thank you, here we go. Right, booths, here we are. Now, now we're here, now we have to find the charge points because it's not like a petrol station, you can't just see them. So where are they? So not up there, not around here. Where are they? This is, oh, this is not, this is not booths. This, <laughs> we're doing all right here, aren't we? This is the, train station is it i think this is the train station right let's get out of here okay the camera's on here hopefully we're not going to get into trouble oops one second let's get through here this is great fun electric cars the future of motoring not right where are we going booths customer car park Okay, so we've got to go down here and left. Come on. Here we go. Oh, you're having a laugh. Absolutely fantastic because they're all in use. So I'm just going to go and have to sit and wait now. This is an absolute joke, honestly. It really is. They're all in use, every one of them. We've got a, a Renault Zoe, something else, a Kia, and a something else, I don't know. But all of them are in use, fantastic. Right, well, I don't know. I need a couple of things out of the out of booths anyway, so are they going? He's putting a loaf of bread in his bonnet. He might be going, actually. Hopefully he's going. If he's going, then I'm getting in there. You're having a laugh. You have a, I've just been waiting here and the Tesla's pushed in. Get that 
suppository shaped piece of garbage out of there. I was waiting for it. Do you know what? I'm going to go over. I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting annoyed. I was waiting. He pulled in. He just pulled straight in. This is absolutely ridiculous. Now there's another one waiting. Get your bloody Tesla out of the way. No way. I'm not having the Tesla going in front of me again. Not a chance. Get your suppository and shove it. No way. This is, this is, the, this is the reality of electric car ownership. Right, there's another guy coming now in a VW ID3 who just said, are we in the queue? I said, yeah, I'm in the queue. So there's going to be a fight here in a minute on who's actually going to be able to charge up because there's four chargers and there's not enough chargers for people wanting to charge up. So there's two people now actually charging, waiting to charge up. This, this is absolute, complete madness. It's ridiculous. It does not work. It will never work. Who made this stupid idea up? The same people that actually made up smart motorways. That's so ridiculous. Right, well, I'm going straight in. Oh, this guy's moving now anyway, so the other guy can go in. But there's still a third guy now waiting. Uh, I need to put the suspension up. There we go get it as close as possible because the wires aren't that big. Right, let's turn this milk float off and go and charge this blooming car up. What a nightmare. Right, it's authorising and it says plug in and it's 4.35 and you get two hours parking. Already wasted half an hour. Right, it says waiting for EV. Oh, charging. We're on. Right, I can nip to the loo now and give it half an hour, 40 minutes charge. Right, well, it's getting late now and I don't want to go over the two hours in the car park, so I'm just going to unplug it. I've got enough uh, mileage to get where I'm going, so I think we're going to call it a day. I'll see you in the car. It's £27.04, £27.06. I'm going to unplug it anyway, uh, so I'll see you in the car. Right, so there you go, Scotland to the Lake District. What an absolute nightmare. The other guy's gonna go in there now and charge up. Um, that's the thing, you see. You end up with fights at the charging points. Absolutely ridiculous. And then you've only got two hours in the car park before them blooming con merchants, the, the car people start charging you and fining you. I've had them before uh, through, Mor uh, uh, not Morrison's, through, yeah, Mor one from Morrison's and one from McDonald's. I just ignore them. I ignore them, I never pay them because they, they're just a con. It's an invoice. Anyway, that's a different matter. By the way, I passed that Chinese uh, takeaway down there. I had a little walk while I was waiting for it to charge. And um, it said on the door uh, that their card machine is not working. I thought, I wonder why it is that every Chinese restaurant, their card machine's not working. Whoever's selling the Chinese restaurants, their card machines, sell them a different type because they're never working. It says cash only. Anyway, that's, that's all from me today. I've got 56% of battery, 134 um, miles of range. Um, so all's good. If you are new to the channel, do hit the subscribe button, click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. What a stressful day. Good grief. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> I need some fish and chips. Oh. Did you buy an electric car between the years 2020 and 2026? only to find out that they weren't the future and you'd been sold a lie? Well, we may be, we may be, may be a bit balls. And now, a word from our sponsors. Did you buy an electric car between the years 2020 and 2025? Only to be balls. 
Did you buy an electric car between the years 2020 and 2025? Only to find out you'd been sold a lie. Well, you may have a, you may have a, 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 a cop blocker.